As you have heard, uh, on the 31st, this year is our covenant year of release for greater exploits. But one will ask, what kind of exploit are we uh, going to make this year? I have said many times that one of the things I fear most is religious spirit, for people to be just religious. But it is better to have relationship with the Lord than to be religious. And those who are led by religion, all they do is prayer, prayer, and prayer alone. Thinking that events in their lives will change if they do nothing but prayer. But I don't really subscribe to that. For us to make great exploit this year, I want to share four things with you that I believe every single one of us must pay attention to. Number one, please, for you to make great exploit this year, you must have a goal for your life. You must set a goal for your life, a vision. It is said that a man, a blind man, with a vision is better than a man with two eyes that have no vision. Vision is about what you see with your spiritual eyes. They call it inner eyes. Where you see yourself by the end of this year. You have to set a goal. You have to live for something. You have to have a vision. Because every year you discover people without vision, they just live every day like the day before. Nothing is changing. We just entered into 2018 now with New Year resolution. A lot of people will come with high energy into the new year. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And uh, by the end of January or February, they're already forgetting the zeal, the New Year resolution, everything they said they would do. They have forgotten, and everything has returned to zero. Same old, same old. But you see, you cannot live like that. You must live for something part time. This month, this is what I'm going to do. This year, this is what I'm going to do. You can't live your life to chance. Help me tell somebody, you can't live your life to chance. <laughs> Don't give your life over to chance and just say, whatever happens, fine. God wants us to be fulfilled in this life. You must be fulfilled in this life. So you need to have a goal for this year. This year, if you need to go to school, and you say, this year I'm going to further my education because I don't want to remain at this level. And I know what to do. I love IT. Let me get some certification in IT. A lot of people, they have good thoughts, good plans. But they don't do. And I said during the week, I said this year is the year of do, do, do. We are tired of wishing. We are tired of saying that I will do without doing. This year must be different. Can you say to somebody, please say to somebody, this year must be different. I tell the person, please find something to do. You must have a goal for your life. Some people, their own agenda is once they get into a place of work, they are fine. They have entered into their own promised land. And they pay them $6.25 per hour. And they say, I'm fine. It's okay to be contented. But after some times, contentment becomes a problem. You can be contented at a level, but God does not want you to stay at that level. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 says, The path of the righteous is like a shining light. And it shines brighter and brighter. So whatever shines brighter and brighter means it's getting better and better. You must have a goal for your life. Amen. You must be able to create a vision for your family. So this family, this year, this is what we are going to do. I am going to do this this year. 
I am going to do that. You got a job. You say, okay, this job is a stepping stone. I'm not going to retire here. So you, start, you started that job. You save some money. And you move to the next level. There must be a goal for this year. When you get to next year, there will be another goal. You live part-time on vision. Amen. Even the Lord Jesus Christ did not come to sing or to be a preacher. He came to fulfill a purpose. He said, for this reason I came. He came to die for the sin of this world. So there are people who don't have vision for their lives. So anything goes. In fact, every day, you must have a goal per day. Because if you don't have a goal for your day, the devil will choose one for you. And somebody can come to you and just take you from the house and call you. You will respond to any call and anything. But when you already have a purpose, how you want to spend your life and your day, you don't fall for anything anyhow. Amen? Amen. And this is also true of the kind of people you move with this year. Your vision can take you to the kind of people, the kind of people you relate with. Because if they don't support your vision, if they are not heading your way, you don't have anything to do with them. Praise the Lord. The, the Lord asks Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 11 and verse 13, what do you see? Please, you have to see something. Else. One of my favorite quotes is that what you see is what God will seal to seal it. What you see is what God will seal. He will put his seal on what you see. And that was why he asked Abraham, can you see the stars? <laughs> Abraham said, yeah. So many of them, he said, as far as you can see, so shall your descendants be. It is consistent with the character of God to make sure that you see something. If you don't see, he can do it. You have to see it. Hagar was thinking that her child was dying. So Hagar was like, no. Nah. But the Bible says, God opened her eyes to see a well of water. If she did not see it, she cannot take from it. From it. You can't withdraw from what you can't see. Amen. You can't become what you can't see. I said, I think, last it's last year now. I said Barack Obama did something during his campaign. He saw himself in the White House. He wrote Believe Boldly and Hope. He wrote a book, Audacity of Hope. The boldness, the courage of hope. So I think he was a man who already saw himself there. And he got there. So don't make God a liar. God can never fail. We fail. He doesn't fail. Wherever you can see yourself, God can take you there. Most of the time, the problem we have is you see yourself, but between where you are and where you want to be, the devil tempts you. There are tests you will go through. And when people begin to go through their tests, they now begin to change their mind. They don't see themselves there anymore. Maybe it won't happen. Maybe I won't pass the exam. Maybe I will never get married. Maybe I will never have my baby. Maybe, maybe. And immediately you begin to surrender to maybe, you begin to lose the grip over your vision. And God begins to look at you that this one is not serious. Those who see themselves there, they don't change their mind. Come what may. No matter what they go through, because they are already there, Vision carries you from where you are to where you want to be, even before you get there. Everybody is talking here, but you are talking there. You are talking as if you are already there. Hebrew 11 verse 6, the Bible says, He who comes to God must believe that he is, not he was, he is a rewarder. And without faith, the Bible says in Hebrew eleven six that it is impossible to please God. When you are talking about faith, you don't begin to talk like you are about to. Faith talks about things that are not as if they are. That's what the Bible says. 
Before you carry your baby, you're already talking about your baby. And they say, where's the baby? You say, you can't see, but I have seen it already. Amen. You're talking about your, your business. And they say, which business? You say, well, you can't see it, but I have seen it. You see, people of vision, they don't talk like normal people. They are abnormal. You know why? Because the normal people would say, what are you saying? And you have to say, go and sit down. I'm talking to the wrong people. Because I have seen myself there. This year, you must have a goal. Because God wants to release you into your breakthrough for greater exploit. Help me tell somebody again, please have a goal for your life. Make sure you see something good. Make sure you see something good.